Hi, welcome back. Uh, that last video ended kind of abruptly, didn't it? It was almost like I made a mistake and I didn't want you to see it. Uh, anyway, uh, in this video we're going to take mixed numbers and we're going to convert them to improper fractions. Uh, we're also going to do it the other way around. So, in this first part, we're going to take a mixed number, maybe something like two and a quarter, two and one fourth, and we're going to convert that into an improper fraction. In this case, it's just going to be nine fourths. Uh, but you might be wondering how I actually did that, so let's, let's talk about it. Two and a quarter. Uh, what you do anytime you have a mixed number and you want to convert it to an improper fraction is you take the denominator, the four, and you multiply it by the whole number in the problem. So you had a denominator, abbreviated denom, and a whole number. And you're going to add to that result uh, the numerator from the mixed number. In this case, it's a 1. Old numerator. Now when you do that uh, math, uh, you're going to multiply 4 times 2, add 1. You're going to get 9. That 9 is going to be your new numerator in your improper fraction. Now what you do with that new numerator, obviously it's going to be in the top part of the fraction because it's a numerator, uh, you're going to put in the bottom there, you're going to keep your old denominator. Uh, in this case your old denominator was a 4, so uh, the answer is 9 fourths, just like I told you. Now give one a shot on your own. Uh, try to convert uh, 3 and 2 fifths into an improper fraction. Hit pause on your video here. Work it out, give it a shot, and come back and see how you did. So let's check it out. Uh, anytime you have a mixed number and you want to convert it to an improper fraction, you take the denominator, you multiply it by the whole number in the problem, in this case it's a 3, and then you add to that your numerator, 2. In this case, you do the math, 5 times 3 plus 2 is 17. That gives you a numerator. And what you do with that numerator is you throw it on top of the denominator from your mixed number. In this case, your denominator was a 5. And that's your answer. 17 fifths is an improper fraction that equals the mixed number 3 and 2 fifths. So good, let's try to do it the other way around. Let's try to take an improper fraction and convert it back to a mixed number. Let's give it a shot. Let's just try 17 fifths. And the way that you do this is you use long division. And you remember in long division, when you have a numerator and a denominator, you throw the numerator inside your division sign, and you put the denominator outside the division sign. And then you just do the long division like you normally would. Um, how many times does 5 go into 17? OK, it goes in 3 times. Um, 3 times 5 gives you 15. You subtract that number, and you get a 2. And that 2 is your remainder, and, and a lot of people write it like this. Remainder 2. 3, remainder 2. Now, we actually have everything we need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. What you do is you take that number right there, and that becomes your whole number of your mixed number. That remainder there, that becomes the numerator of your mixed number. Uh, the 5, which was your old denominator, uh, the 5, which was your old denominator, stays the denominator of your mixed number. So what you have is you have this number 3 and 2 fifths. Uh, now what I always like to do is I like to go back and say, well, is that what we started with? Um, way back here, we took this mixed number 3 and 2 fifths, we converted it into an improper fraction 17 fifths. Now down here we took the same improper fraction 17 fifths, we converted it back to a mixed number 3 and 2 fifths. So it all worked out great. Good work. Uh, so now try one on your own. Um, try to convert 19 fourths into uh, a mixed number. Hit pause on the video and come back and see how you did. All right, let's check it out. Uh, what you do 
Anytime you want to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, you just do long division. We have 19 inside the divisional sign, 4 outside there. Uh, how many times does 4 go into 19? Uh, what does it go in? 4 times? Okay, 4. Uh, you multiply 4 by 4, and you get 16. You subtract that result to get your remainder. Uh, in this case, the remainder is 3. So now you have all the information you need. You have your whole number, 4. You have your numerator, 3. And then you take the old denominator from the, uh, from the improper fraction. Or you take it from uh, this division right here. It's the same number. You stick it in there, and you get yourself a mixed number. 4 and 3 quarters. 4 and 3 fourths. Um, that is a mixed number that is equal to the improper fraction, 19 fourths. Great. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video.